All right, so got myself another new little toy today preparing for bike season. And it is, of course, wrapped up in a nice little box. Uh, I had this shipped from Amazon.com. Uh, it was shipped to my my U.S. address, which actually goes to Ogdenburg in New York. So for those of us that live in the uh, Ottawa area, this is a nice way for us to kind of get stuff from the States for a better deal while we live in Canada. So I'm going to open this up. Uh, first off, you may be wondering what this is. And uh, so am I. So actually, it's a new handlebar mount. So I just got this year an iPhone 6. So it's 4.7 inches. One of the biggest things that I had on my old handlebar mount was that it would clamp on. Now, the bonus of it and why I bought it was that I knew that it would fit because the clamp expands that it would fit a bigger phone. Issue is, is that iPhone decided to move its power button to the top. So the clamps either hit this button, which turns it off, or if I shift it, hits the volume buttons, which makes my volume go up and down, which is no good. So either way, I don't like that. Other thing was, is that it was just a clamp. So if I was riding, and I do, you know, I am going to be going on some longer rides where I could get caught in the rain and not you know how to get home because we're, you know, hours and hours away in unfamiliar territory. Um, I wanted to make sure I had a case or a case slash mount that was waterproof so that this could become my GPS and I could uh, continue to use it while I was riding. So I ended up buying this. So I'll put the name of it right there because I can't remember the brand name and my box doesn't seem to have any of that information on it. So here, brown box, nothing fancy, that's for sure. Here we go. So first thing that it comes with, which is needed, is the physical uh, handlebar mount. So it goes that way, right? Of course, clamps on. And you'll see it's got a whole bunch of the little rubber inserts depending on the size of handlebar you have. Uh, and right there where it will snap into the actual case okay I honest velcro something or other what that's for nope no idea don't know oh that's cool actually comes with a whatever those are called uh, heavy duty no but heavy duty enough cool that's alright I'll take that I'm gonna put a link down here to where I bought it, so if anybody else is interested in it. All right, this is, wow, that makes it big. All right, so here it is. And that's solid. That's nice, actually. Um, so, that's a nice solid, you could actually just use that as a case all the time. That's super solid. Here it is. So, this is, of course, and what they say, completely waterproof. And, uh, my big concern will be how fast it is to get stuff in and out of it. And let's see, clip, clip. Two clamps that kind of pop on and off. Uh, four clamps. One, three clamps. I'll get the number right. And this it kind of folds out. Now my, oh, I see what that is. This would be something that you could have attached. And I'm guessing that this somehow would, I don't know. I'm guessing stuff and I don't really know what I'm talking about. So this little piece here is the seal, the rubber seal. So that's nice. Instructions. So I'm going to put these up close. Hopefully you guys can read them. You can pause the screen if you want to see that. If not, which you probably won't. Sorry guys, this is not high definition. I'm recording from my iMac. Um, but instructions. Uh, we'll read them. Uh, open your case. Insert the phone. Close the case. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to take that off. I am going to take Mike. One of the reasons I like this case is a Tech 21 case. Uh, super easy to get the phone out. It's like bang, which is awesome. All right, so let's let's see. Let's see if this goes in here. So I'm going to pop this in. Nice and simple. Here it goes. Oh, that fits like a charm. Last time I bought a case off of Amazon, it was, it was a nightmare. So I was a little, little worried about this one. Close that up. Give that a seal. Oh, that's super awesome. All right, so there it is. Let's uh, let's just see if that button, there it is. 
power button on the side, turn off, turn on. Now, of course, um, thumbprint scanner is not going to work because there's a button here. Let's see the touch case. It's all right. You got to push. It's uh, give it a little harder so it's not it's floating above it a little bit. But that's okay. I'm just going to put my password in. Turns on good. Uh, volume buttons on the side work great. Um, one of the things you will notice, and this this will be not that it's a super concern for what it is, but um, of course I'll be using it strictly to um, use it as a GPS to come home. Is that the headphone jack is also covered, which makes sense because. Um, it's waterproof. So I will use this again when we are caught in the rain, right? So pretty good. But be aware, this could be important for some people, uh, you're not going to get access to the headphone port. And even if you open this, you're caught right with another the actual inside of the case. So she's behind that sh internal shield, I guess. Camera's okay. Camera's visible. Um, all the buttons are good. That's a, that's a solid case as far as putting it on your bike. So that's kind of good. So for mapping in that, awesome. Um, as a visual, be aware, except for the volume that comes out of this, you're not going to be able to have it play, right? Or charge for that matter. So that might be a little bit of a concern for a, a case that is um, supposed to be bike mounted. If I'm going to have this mounted for four hours, how am I going to charge it? So that may be uh, definitely a concern that I would uh, be worried about. So anyways, here you go guys. Take a look. Um, short rides, probably good. Long rides, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long the phone can last without being charged. All right. There you go. Talk to you guys later. Bye.